Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and this time I am back for the final time for this run with a demo of my Alice 9 plate. This is the back of the plate. This is the front of the plate with the blue film on it. This is a casing that it comes in. This is my Moyu London plate from their Alice collection. It's one of the newer plates. As my other plate, this particular plate has 18 images across it. I'm going to take that film off. Try to show you some of these images. And we're going to swatch. Um, again, my intent is to swatch all 18 images, 10 on my fingers. I'm going to be trying to use my royal purple. If this doesn't work, I'll switch over to black. The polish that I have on my right hand here is my Formula X Gemini. The polish on my left hand is my Essie Lilacism. which is right here. There we go. I still don't know what I'm going to do as far as the manicure when I'm done with all of this. This is a Conad polish. I've had this for a while and I need to order another. So I'm just going to do like I did on the other plate and just swatch these by the first row. I'm going to start um, probably with what's down in the middle. Whenever my polish gets stuck like this, I'll usually loosen it up and I'll put the cap back on and then I'll hit it against a hard non-breakable surface which in this case is my wall and then I try it out to make sure that it will still stick I got some strange methods for a lot of things kinda like when I cut my lotion tubes and then stuff the um, end of it into a drawer <laughs> so we're gonna start this first one is the rabbit and I got the ear kind of patchy I think what I'll do is I might go ahead and try to stamp in black that might be clear so we're going to switch over and see how this does now I'm guessing that image is the rabbit and that is how it's stamped so it looks true to image at first I thought that was a bald spot there Some of these images, I can't really tell what they are by looking at them, and some are more clear than others. This one is Alice there. And I do like that these were nail sized. I don't know if you can see the face of the girl there. So I do like that these were nail sized. Ah. And I probably should have rolled up my jacket sleeves because I'm probably asking for my jacket here to be dipped in something. And then when things fall around me, I can't really mess with those. This looks like the Mad Hatter. Pretty good image there of him. The next one, I think, this one is the one where her neck was stretched. I remember this movie from when I was a little girl. But then I also have today's version. And I need to get part two because I understand there's a two. Hopefully you can see that good. That's why I'm holding it there for a minute to hopefully make sure you can see it well enough. These are very small and intricate. I'm trying to also myself tell what these are. This one I can't really tell. But I can see the little details in there. I hope you can see too. But I like plates like this that are more nail sized. So right now this is the sixth one from the bottom.
And this is what we swatched so far. Now I think, I haven't been able to tell if the Cheshire Cat is on here or not because I'll have to look at these with a naked eye because I can't really see these images with my lenses in because my lenses make me have to hold things far off to see them. But that's pretty good. That's pretty detailed. I hope you can see that. You'll definitely see it better in person. And, um... I've been looking online to see if anybody else has any swatches of these going on. Because if I could angle my phone to point down, that would probably be even better. Half the plate swatch. We got nine more images to go. This one was the one I didn't quite understand. I could tell that she was holding something because I'm going to have to watch the movie again. When I was a kid, I read the book. But I forgot what this part was. And I still can't tell. But it's very clear... Um, I like that these are small enough to fit on the nail and that you can just about tell what they are. Some of them I cannot tell. And some of them I can tell after I stamp them. Like this one. Appears to be the background of something. Let's see for the most part. I can't tell at all. little face right there. Let's see, we're going to go over here. And this one again looks like a background. I am getting my hand really messed up here. Can't tell exactly what, but that is definitely a background. I'm going to put that across this finger here, which will be too little for you to be able to tell what that is. But I definitely need to reacquaint myself with this story. So 
So I do like that these images just about fit on your nail. However, my nails are a little smaller, just a smidge smaller than average. So anyone with regular normal size nails, I think this would be a good plate. Looks like she's reaching down into something there. I do have some other Alice plates that I don't believe I've used yet. Let's see, this one is the rabbit. I'm going to try to get that again. I don't think I got that one very clear. I'm trying to think of a look I want to do. I want to do something simple but I don't really know what color I want to use or what I want to go for. But I definitely know I'd like to probably use some of the plates that I haven't used yet. Okay. And then I believe I have one more image up here in this corner. And I'm not really quite sure what this is. I can't make it out by looking at it. I see the little rabbit down there in the corner, though. We're just going to put that there. I can't tell what that is, but I still like the effect of it. Now, I don't know if you can tell um, with the black on there. Some of them stand out better than others. And I did get some black on the back of there. I'm going to clean this up. I will say this plate seems to be etched a little bit deeply, -er, probably because the images are so small. Clean it up a little bit. I don't know. Try to get that off of there. Oh, I didn't put the entire stamper in the way. Sorry about that. Tried to clean this up a little bit and show these images. So hopefully you will give this plate a chance. I would definitely use this as an accent plate for maybe like two nails to do some images that fit, especially these face ones. But I'm really glad that the body and face type images kind of fit on the nail. And most, most of you will have probably have more room on your nails than I do. But that was it for this demo. Until the next time, everyone have a great night.